Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And this is the third part of the error handling in Oracle SOA series that we are creating. And today we will talk about how you can create a custom fault and how you can handle that custom fault using catch activity. Till now in part 1 and part 2 we have learned what is the difference between catch and catch all, what is throw activity, what is uh, retro activity and how we can catch certain sort of faults using catch activity so if you have not seen those videos that i highly recommend you guys to first check those out and then come to this particular video it will definitely help you guys so let's start as you can see on my screen this is the service error handling demo service this is the service which we are working with since our part one today also we will be tweaking this service only in order to create a custom fault and catch that so to create a custom fault, there are many different ways. You can use uh, runtime fault visual in order to create the custom fault. However, I'll tell you a different and in my opinion, it's the simplest way to do that. So let's start. So this is the service code that we have been using since part one of this series. Here we need to create a custom fault. So what I personally do is I, I would create a schema based on which I want to create a custom fault. So let's create a schema first. And as you guys know how to create a schema, I will be fast forwarding this. All right. So the schema is created. I created a schema, gave it a target namespace, custom fault element and a fault message of a string type. I think that's all you need. There are ways you can use create a visual out of it if you want your fault variable to be of a message type, but I rather prefer a schema only and use a variable of an element type. Both works. In most of the Oracle documentation, you'll see that it has to be a, a message type only. And it is recommended to use the runtime error uh, visual that is available on Oracle's websites also, but hardly matters. Whatever your business logic requires, you can achieve that with the method that I'm telling you. So now you'll need to create a variable using the schema that you have just created. So let's create a variable. I'm going to name that variable as my custom fault where now you need to throw that variable so let's just suppose once we receive an input we want to throw that custom fault here you'll need to first give that variable now here's the tricky part local part is basically the name of your fault Let's say my custom fault is the name of my fault, fault that I'm creating. Now the namespace URI. You can give any namespace URI that you want. However, it is recommended that either you give the visual URL that if your if your variable is being created by a visual's message type, or you give a URL of your schema, but it doesn't matter. It's recommended, but not a mandate practice. You can give anything that you want. For example, here I can give example.com. Hardly matters. I'll click apply. Okay. Now this will throw that fault, but here we are only catching uh, the remote fault. So it should go to catch all. Let's see how it works. Let me deploy it. It is deployed. 
However, as of now, if you see, we have not given any message to our fault, but we given a name to the fault and this is the one that we are catching anyways. So let's test it. So you see it says my custom fault has been handled using catch all. So you basically created a fault of your own just by giving a variable name uh, a part and a namespace. So it's that simple. But if you'll see the documentations on internet or on Oracle, they make they make it so complicated that many people try and avoid this this. But it's really that simple. Now let's see how we can catch it catch a custom fault and let's give it some value also let's give some body to our fault so to give a message to our fault we'll have to use the assign activity in the assign activity this is a variable this is our fault we can give anything here whatever we want our message of our fault this is this is my custom fault beware now let's catch it so we can add another branch to catch this fault I'll just copy this, put it into this. I'll change the response. Apart from this, I also want the message. So let's say get fault as string. I want that also here. Apply. Okay. Now this is a bit important because whatever the namespace you are in local part that you have given you have to give exactly that into your catch so let me just copy these things this will be my local part All right, now let's give the same to this uh, catch. Here we go. Element type you can give because we have created it as in from a schema. Just give this element type. As you can see, this namespace of my schema and this namespace are different, but doesn't matter. It's a good practice if you follow the same, but compiler doesn't care. So let's save it and let's deploy it. Okay, it is deployed. Now let's check if it worked or not. All right, test. And as a matter of fact, it did work. You see, it gave us the complete message also. Now let's go to the flow to check the complete message. So we threw a custom fault and it got caught by the catch that we implemented and if you see this is the custom message that we wanted to send this is my custom fault so this is it I mean it, it, it really is that simple to create a custom fault and catch it so now 
in the fault handling management one thing is pending if you know that there is nothing else that you need to know as far as understanding and how you can handle uh, the faults in Oracle SOA which is fault handling framework and how the fault binding and fault policy works with that you can do your error handling from the comp on the component level that if this invoke fails then this should happen if this this uh, receive fails then this should happen so that sort of granular level error handling can be done using fault handling uh, framework with fault policies and fault bindings so that i will create a different video for that sometime later and if you have any questions related to uh, whatever that i have taught in past three videos including this one you just let me know drop a comment or send me an email and i will more than happy to answer your questions Till we meet again, take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day. Bye-bye.